Now to the staggering toll from a weekend of gun violence across this country. More mass shootings than days of the year so far. Hundreds shot more than 20 at a Juneteenth celebration outside Chicago. ABC's Alex Perez is there. Tonight, communities mourning after a rash of deadly gun violence across the nation. Just outside Chicago at a Juneteenth celebration, police say more than 20 people were shot in a strip mall parking lot late Saturday night. 400 people outside, female screaming, um, report of gunshots. One killed, others injured fleeing the gunfire. We just started hard to shoot cub before we had us, so we dropped down. Police say an unknown number of suspects fired multiple weapons into the crowd. Those suspects is still at large. The White House responding today. It's devastating. It's tragic. Uh, this type of gun violence needs to stop. Across Chicago, police say at least 10 people killed, 60 more injured in shootings. And in the small town of Kellogg, Idaho, police finding four people shot dead inside a residence, one suspect taken into custody. In Washington state, authorities say at least two people killed and another three injured after a gunman opened fire near a music festival Saturday night. The sheriff's department says the shooter fired randomly into the crowd. A suspect also injured, now in custody. And Lindsay, officers also responded to mass shootings in San Francisco, Baltimore, and Philadelphia. According to the Gun Violence Archive, at least 132 people were killed this holiday weekend. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.